The topic for next Sunday's sermon might very well be forgive, but don't forget. At least that's the case at one local church. Well, the minister says he can forgive what vandals did to the place, but as Local 12 Sydney Benter tells us, one of his parishioners isn't about to let that happen again. Steve Reeves arrives at Spring Hill Church of Christ before dawn most Sundays to prepare for his sermon. But the light of day revealed a harsh surprise earlier this month. Graffiti covered walls, a sign, and a bus. Some of it so offensive that we can't show you. It wasn't really anger. It wasn't really outrage. It was more, you know, sadness. Word spread quickly among the congregation. Many shocked that anyone would deface a place of worship in this way. There's certain lines that you, no matter who you are, there's a certain lines you don't really cross and messing with the church should be at the top of people's list for that. Now this isn't the first time that vandals have hit here at Spring Hill. They say that many times over the last few years, playground equipment has been toppled over. This seemed a little more personal. Randy Lewis knew he wanted to help his church as soon as he heard what happened. He's a sales manager at Camera Security Now. The company is donating eight security cameras to the church. They'll offer some high-tech peace of mind. They'll be able to get email notifications that says, you know, it's two in the morning and there's motion on one of your cameras. So I'm sure Steve's phone will probably get a thousand emails a week. Steve is humbled by the kindness, but he's more focused on reaching out to the young people who did the damage in the first place. You know, we are in the business of second chances. And so, you know, I want them to know that, you know, God loves them and, and you know, we don't want to see anybody go to jail. We want them in church. In Middletown, Sydney Benter, Local 12 News. Reeve says police have arrested a couple of teenagers for the vandalism, but they're eyeing one or two more right now. He wants those young people to know the Spring Hill congregation is praying for them. Well, Tim says.